All right, so Air Max month is upon us, and big shout out to Hibbit Sports for sponsoring this video. They sent over a pair of Air Maxes here for myself, but they also sent over one for Harrison, one for Maddie, and one for Mom. This pair of sneakers, though, I'm actually really interested in. Uh, the colorway looks really crazy. There's a little bit of confusion, honestly, to me about this colorway, but uh, when I get them in hand and, and look at them, I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm gonna be doing something to these, like a custom, just because of the way that these things are put together. But this is a colorway that I got, and uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. So if you guys didn't know, Hibbit Sports and City Gear are actually gonna be giving away sneakers for a year. They've done this a number of years in a row. It's a legit contest, but basically there's a link to sign up for Hibbit Sports City Gear email. You follow Hibbit Sports and City Gear on Instagram, and then you leave a comment under one of the posts that I'll link in the description, and you tag three friends with that comment, and then it will get you in the entry to be able to win the sneakers for a year. So basically, I think they give you uh, a free pair a month for the entire year. It's definitely a cool giveaway that they do. And this month, they're, they're starting it and doing it because of Air Max month. The contest ends 331, so make sure you go out and get your entries in. And if you've never heard of Hibbit Sports or City Gear, basically, they have over a 1,000 stores across the U.S. And you can go in and shop. But they also have an online presence where you can actually enter raffles and then check out their release calendar. They have a bunch of Nikes, Jordans, Adidas, and stuff that release. Uh, and so it's definitely worth checking out their calendar. On on a weekly basis because it updates all the time. What's going on guys has here. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you guys would like to check out my website, Collective Kicks, I post a bunch of sneaker deals for you guys on a weekly basis over there. So in this video, we have a pair of Air Max 90s and actually I picked these ones out. I had the option to pick out whatever Air Maxes I wanted from Hibbit Sports site. And this is the one that I actually ended up picking because I do love my Air Max 90s. You can guys can see my Air Max line back here. Uh, but these are Air Max 90 SEs in black obsidian scream green is the color but honestly if you're a seahawk fan i mean this color is screaming your name with that scream green haha uh, -ha. uh anyway it says 32 c on the tongue and it has a diamond and then it says air max also has the xxx v on the back uh which i was like 35 wait wait these are the air max 90s 90 and then 2022 that doesn't equal 35 right it celebrates the 35 years of Nike Air in general, when actually the first pair ended up coming out. I know it's a little strange that they're celebrating the 35 year of the technology on a model that's not 35 years, but it is what it is. All that aside though, the colorway is super fire. I really like what they did here. First of all, the black on the side panels, it looks really crazy. Like it's almost like a, a wavy pattern across a, a suede, which is a fun look to it. And then right above that, you actually have a denim. So it's denim across the toe and then around the piping here. And that's the part to me where I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I can like bleach dye that. Obviously we see the concepts, Air Max 1's dropping for Air Max Day and like the, the bleached denim on that looks crazy. I think you could probably bleach this and then distress it with a Dremel or something like that. I bet it could look pretty dope. I actually have a pair of Levi Air Max 90s that I distress a little bit extra. Um, it came distressed from Nike, like the Nike by you, but I distress it a little bit more just to make it look a little bit more worn in. I feel like I could probably do something like that. I don't know what the 32C stands for, to be 100% honest. If somebody does know, uh, drop a comment and let me know. But uh, but it does have the 35 branding and then the 32C scream green with the diamond swoosh on the inside as well. It's interesting brandy that I don't know much about, but it does look really cool and the colorway is something that I like. Also the bottom, uh, green at the tip and then black and then little hits of that blue on the bottom. Uh, then on the swoosh is another interesting thing. You have the swoosh right here, but it's actually embroidered around in that scream green. Uh, so the little outline there is done um, in an embroidery, which is not something we normally see. Like that, and then embroidery as well in the back stitching here for that uh, 35. You also do have embroidery on the back tab of the shoe for the Nike Air instead of having that rubberized material, which is a, a fun different change. Then you do have the eyelets done in green and then black in the front. The tongue also doesn't say Nike Air, which we're used to seeing that. The other detail that I really like about the shoe is the scream green inside of the air pocket. Sometimes when you have the option to customize that in like Nike by you, uh, you know, sometimes I don't customize it, I just leave it black or white. But this case, the pop and the accents of the shoe are definitely uh, welcome because they did a great job. Just given a small amount of accents and it's scream green, but it definitely uh, makes the shoe just pop off that much more. White mesh on the toe box as well as the tongue and the collar of the shoe. And then you do have a white and black midsole. But all in all, I think this colorway looks really solid. I think I might customize them a little bit. I might post it on Twitter and Instagram if you guys are interested in seeing any updates to this. So follow me over there if you don't. It's at Hess Kicks, uh, same as the channel name. But anyway, 
anyway, thanks to Hibbit's Voice for sending these over and then also sending over the fam stuff. Harrison loves his sneakers. In fact, they're really easy for him to put on as well. Obviously, he's like six now, so he can put on his own shoes. He can't really tie them though. So these ones are great because there's no actual tie on them. And then Maddie's Air Max 90s are super cute. And then my wife's, I actually really like her pair as well, the Air Max 90s that, that she got with a kind of that safari print. 326 is coming up, Air Max Day. Let me know in the comment section, what are you planning on wearing for Air Max Day? Uh, curious to see, honestly, there's a lot of fun options. Obviously, Air Max has been around for a number of years now, 35 to be exact. So it'll be interesting to see what you guys are gonna be pulling out. Uh, but big shout out to Hibbit Sports for myself, but also for the family, man. We do appreciate you out there, Hibbit and Wendy and everybody else that works uh, with me to be able to, to bring you guys some content. Uh, much, much appreciated. But have a good rest of the day. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to it. Hibbit Sports in the description of the video if you guys wanna check them out. Hopefully we'll see you back for some more sneaker content. All right, peace guys.